Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the First Aid Beauty Hydrating Eye Cream. This product retails for $30. I have tried a First Aid Beauty eye cream before on this channel. That was their Niacinamide Brightening Eye Cream, and I absolutely loved that one. I am very excited to be trying another eye cream from First Aid Beauty. I didn't realize how many options for eye creams they had. They literally have something for everyone, and that makes me very happy. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Some of the highlighted ingredients in this product includes hyaluronic acid, Acid, collodial oatmeal, caffeine, and cucumber extract. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description. So there's not really many things I am looking for with this eye cream. Something that I do struggle with though with some eye creams is experiencing sensitivity. This says it is designed for sensitive skin, so I will be just wanting to see if it causes any sensitivity to my under eyes. I know that I struggle with that. I get styes on my eyes that rhymes but <laughs> I do struggle with that sometimes with trying new eye cream so that will be something that I'm looking for if I notice anything else with this trial I will let you all know I will be continuing to do check-ins so I will see you all in the next check-in hi everyone I am here to use the product on camera I have used this product a couple of times and so far I am loving it it's very hydrating and it has a very soothing feel to the skin it also has a little bit of a cucumber scent but it does disappear very quickly and it is very light and very subtle. So here is the product. This is my favorite type of packaging for eye creams to come in. It has a little like squeezy tube and you just put a little on your ring finger and it goes on super easily. So I'm just going to use just a little bit of the product. It does not take very much. That's probably too much. I think that's fine. It is good to be very careful around your under eye area. I usually try to tap in my eye creams. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it seems like whenever my eyes have a very luminous look to them, it makes the rest of my face look brighter. And I always forget that. There isn't like any color correcting in this eye cream. So it is just simply a hydrating eye cream, which I have no issue with. I personally like my under eyes to look very hydrated. And so I will be using this for just a little while longer. And and I will probably check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all just a quick check-in with this product. I have been using it for a few days and I'm really loving it so far. It provides a very nice and hydrating feel to my under eyes. And I also like that it seems to have like a cooling sensation. I think it's the cucumber in it. I don't know, I really like it so far. I'm not having to use very much and I'm just really enjoying my overall experience with it. I definitely think that it will last me a long time. So I am going to just use it for just a little while longer. If I notice anything else, I'll check in. If not, I will be back with my final thoughts. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. Overall, I really like this product. I feel like it did an amazing job at hydrating my under eyes. And I also didn't experience any sensitivity, any irritation with this product. Product. It did provide a nice cooling sensation to my under eye area. I really think that if you struggle with either dry under eyes or puffy under eyes or even dark circles that this product would be an amazing product for you. Even though it's a different eye cream from their niacinamide brightening eye cream, I feel like this one is more simple. This one is more designed for sensitive skin. I really think that if you have a really sensitive under eye area that this would also be an amazing option option for you. I do want to talk about my opinion on eye creams. Personally, myself, I like to use them just because my under eye area is really dry and I just prefer to have that extra added layer of hydration with a moisturizer. Personally, myself, I do see myself repurchasing this product, but an eye cream is not really a necessity in the skincare routine. So if you want to invest in an eye cream and you feel like that's something you personally need yourself, then I definitely think that this would be an amazing option. I love First Aid Beauty products and this is just 
added to that list. So I am so glad that I got the opportunity to try it. So overall, I would recommend it. I do feel like it is worth the money. I don't have to use very much of it. Side note, I love the packaging that this comes in. I personally love how easy it is just to distribute a tiny amount of the product just as much as you need and apply it to your under eye area. I really think that this is my favorite type of packaging for an eye cream. That's just an added bonus to this product that I already love because the product itself was really good. So overall, I would recommend this product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review. Bye!